Welcome back to another episode of Invest in Your Future. I'm your host, Kenny, and today I'm going to be discussing the business cycle and how you can come up with a business or business idea. All right, the first thing is you want to come up with an idea. An idea can come from a necessity. So you got to think of a problem that's out there in the world right now or that you're dealing with or your friends or family are dealing with. Think, and you have to sit down and think. It comes back down to one of my first videos where you have to really sit down and just think about an idea or a problem that most people are dealing with or you're personally dealing with. Like the Snuggie. Someone had issues with having a blanket and not being able to, let's say, eat or change the remote control. So they came up with the idea of creating a blanket with holes in it. And... They've sold millions and millions of them. Second part of the business cycle is here is you have to think, is it a product or is it a service? So if you come up with an idea of, let's say, the Snuggie, the Snuggie is going to be more of a product. So you have to find manufacturers and find out the schemes on how it's going to be created, where it's going to be created, how much it's going to cost. So that's where you're going to come up with this part right here. And you have to break it down to a level of understanding how much it's going to cost you to, to provide that product or service. That's another YouTube that we made about how to figure out what your profit margin is going to be like and how much is going to cost you to really start that business because some some companies if you're starting a product you have to order a certain amount like 50,000, 100,000 at a time. You have to make sure you have that working capital to initiate that product or bring it to market. And once you have that done you want to be able to create it. You want to come up with a sample of what you're trying to produce out there. So if it's a product, most likely they made a, like the, bring it back to the Snuggie, you wanna bring a couple samples out to the marketplace and test it out. So that's why you create it first. You create a couple samples and see how it's gonna be tested. And that's what comes down to the actual next step, which is test and feedback. You're gonna take, take whatever you created. If it's a service or if it's a product, let's take the Snuggie again, we take it and we give it to family, we give it to friends. This is for free. You want to bring it out to the marketplace and see what people think about it. Get their feedback because in terms of you want to make sure that the marketplace is ready for that product or is willing to pay for that product or service. So that's why it's very important to test it and feedback. And that comes down to just friends, family, even strangers on the street. Um, sometimes you see advertisers or companies on the corner of a street with big signs saying giving out free samples to just see how your feedback is. They may maybe make you fill out a little sheet on what you liked, what you didn't like. And that way they're kind of testing it and seeing how the product is going to produce on the general marketplace. Now, once they get the feedback on the product or service, now they go back and edit and see, okay, people didn't like this color scheme. We're going back to Snuggie again. People didn't like the size of it. People liked it a little shorter. People liked the, the whole arms covered instead of maybe half the arms. And that's where you go back and retool and go back to your service or, or the person who's going to provide you the product and you edit the product itself or the service itself. And you might need to go through these steps a couple times, maybe three or four times just to get the product right. And now finally, once you have all that done, now you bring it to the marketplace. And this comes down to marketing and sales. So you want to figure out, okay, who is my audience that I'm selling this product or service to? My product or service is apartments. My audience is everyone that needs an apartment. So anywhere from 21 to plus. So my audience is very large. Now same with, let's say any other product, you want to make sure that, let's say it's um, lipstick or, or you know makeup, your product is going to be servicing mostly the audience of women, females, let's say 16 and older. So that's why you want to make sure that you understand where you're producing and who's who's it for and also you want to make sure that you can market it to the right people because if you're producing makeup you don't want to market it to 60 year old men you want to make sure that the marketplace is eligible to pay you for the product or service that you're providing and also comes down obviously to sales you want to make sure that there's sales behind it because you could bring a product to the marketplace but if it doesn't sell it's going to be a dead product it's going to be in the, in the, in the back box it's not going to be on the shelves so you want to make sure that you take this very seriously when, it's, when you're coming up with an idea or a business you want to make sure that this business cycle is fed through very well and it passes all the tests and if it, if it gets stuck let's say at the creative stage where you realize that it's going to cost you too much you might have to retool and go back to a different idea or think of a different problem that you might want to solve all right